Okay, so there's the radio back in its cabinet. It's really a nice looking radio. Kind of dirty in that, but I think I think it's gonna clean up pretty nice. So let's give it a go here. Switch it switch it back on. I should have screwed in the light bulb. But I did not. I just got the radio sitting in here. I haven't screwed it screwed it in or anything. is important here and I just got it set randomly it could be in the wrong the antenna could be in the wrong plane to pick up the signals strongly but it just said 640 and it's showing up at 660 that's not too bad Another thing to notice here that maybe will settle me down a little bit is this is 550, 650. It takes up that much of the dial. On the other end, that same amount of space is 10 times as much frequency change. And that could be again why adjusting the uh, oscillator made a small difference down here. We're making a big difference up here. Does that make sense? I don't know if that even made sense, but I'm not going to think any more about it. Okay, so we're at the bottom of the dial. Reads 55. <laughs> and we're down to 525. Probably be saying 555. We'll go up to there's 90, 90 on here, 900 rather, and we'll uh, dial up 900 here. Still low here. Lots of parallax in this radio. That's 1500 here. better lubricate the uh, tuning. It still won't quite climb to the very top. But that's that's the 1600 dot. Low all the time. Low all the time. So I should be able to adjust the oscillator a little bit and bring that up to a more correct more correct setting. <laughs> You know, I, I don't plan to make these things perfect. Um, I just want them working reasonably well. Sorry about the coughing. So, where are we on the dial now? We are dialed 1600. So I'm gonna try to get at the oscillator. Right 
there. Okay, I forgot to, to say 1600. Set to 1600. Now we'll dial our way back down to <coughs> 54. That's the very bottom of the AM band. 54. Okay, so we'll tune her down to 54. Not bad. Okay, so I want accuracy at the lower end. Not so much at the higher end. Quite a large turn there. I don't want to go that far. The, the high end's moving a lot, if the low end's not moving much. Okay, let me set this to 640, <coughs> one of the most popular stations here. So the dial reads Missing something? Is there another tuning step? I didn't think there was. There is no there's no coil in here or anything to adjust. Just that just those two capacitors. <coughs> well I can just kind of throw away the high end on the radio for the sake of the lower end. That's quite a ways off now. That's a little bit select from a couple bad choices here. I'm going to 
double check the antenna now. I think that's it. I think that's as good as it's going to get. I don't have the speaker in the radio right now, so the light is coming through the grill here. A little strong. Otherwise, it's lighting the front here quite nicely. The big deal with this radio is its look. Uh, this is a really nice looking radio. So I think we'll cut the power to it, and my next step is clean up the cabinet. Here's the finished product after uh, quite a bit of cabinet cleaning here using uh, Brasso. And uh, you know, this cabinet has these grooves, it takes forever to clean that kind of stuff up. And, uh, but the Brasso does a nice job. And I also wax it afterwards with just ordinary wax, pledge, nothing special. There it is. Fantastic looking. It was all stained up in here and just looked drab. But now, now it looks great. Hey, let's check it out. I think I have it tuned right on the station right now, so let's see. I put the repaired speaker into it. <laughs> it's 6.40 and it's, it's just about right on. Just about right on. Uh, close, anyway. Ah! Slipping string. Ha! Where did that come from? Oh. But anyway, there it is done, done to this point. Ah, oh, how did that happen? Okay, so I've added a little more lubrication to the uh, pointer system, the bearings in the capacitor, the uh, bearing on the pointer here at the front. Not done very well. But it looks like the most effective thing I did was I noticed how the spring is kind of tucked in here in a funny way. And it's not allowing it to pull on the string properly. And I just, I just pulled it back here a touch. Put a touch more tension on the, uh, the string, which has already got a fair bit of tension. And that, and that, all that stuff seems to fix it. So I'm now going to put it back together. Solder back the speaker wires, which broke off while I uh, was tugging around with the radio, of course. But uh, pretty sure I've got it this time. Arr. Tighten these screws too much. <laughs> Just enough to hold things together. Oh, I still have to solder back that speaker wire in there. Just a 
about every wire is ready to break off here too. quiet because I'm frustrated. Nothing worse than getting something done and then realizing it's not done. a little better. I got it. Okay. <sighs> you know, what else might go wrong just as I'm putting it back together? I had to pick odd screws here uh, because previous people have kind of bored out the, the screw holes with varying screws and again I, I don't like to put any screw in that puts significant pressure in here. Um, one of these uh, fittings is already cracked, this one's cracked and gone, so that'll have to do. Okay. Are you ready, Mr. Radio? My fingerprints all over it. Ah, dust and dirt. Crud. <laughs> okay, let's put on a couple of knobs here. I have to put on the knob. I can be the knob. Okay, this is my uh, external antenna booster down here in the shop. Here we go. Oh, let's try tuning it. Oh yeah, there we go. Funny, it never acted badly until it was right back in the cabinet. Jeepers. Every time with the YP app, download the free Yelp. 
Here we are. Well, this radio went from not working because the speaker was was ruined to working and working good, looking nice, looking really nice. Lovely brass speaker fitting here. And unfortunately, the dial's taken a bit of a beating. Some of the print is just falling off the back of it here. Nothing you can do about that except leave it totally alone. Well, there we are. Final. Another one. Another one done. Hey, I got more to do. More radios to work on. So, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the result on this one.